Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good evening countrymen and women. I wish to address the recent developments concerning Honorable J. Banda. Yesterday, the 31st of May 2024, Honorable Banda was discharged from Minor Soko Medical Center. Upon his discharge, he was invited to the Zambia Police Service Headquarters for an interview, during which he was accorded all the privileges befitting a witness. This included being interviewed in the presence of his legal counsel, Mr. Sakwiba Sikota. The interview primarily focused on Honorable Banda's disappearance on the 25th of May, 2024. Regrettably, Honorable Banda was unable to provide the police with any information regarding the circumstances of his disappearance. Following the completion of the interview related to his disappearance, Honorable Banda was escorted to the police station concerning other ongoing investigations. During this process, Honorable Banda was booked for detention in relation to alleged offenses of attempted murder and assault that occurred in 2026 in Vubui of the Eastern Province. It was during his booking that Honorable Banda developed a medical condition which necessitated his immediate admission to Minor Soko Medical Center, where he is currently receiving medical attention. I would like to emphasize that Honorable Banda has not been formally charged for the alleged offenses at this time. The police are continuing their active investigation into the matter of his disappearance as well as the four the aforementioned allegations. I would like to take this opportunity to urge the general public to stay calm and desist from issuing unsubstantiated and highly inflammable statements on this issue. Furthermore, I appeal to any of the public who may have tangible information and or facts to please contact the nearest police station to avail that information. And this information coming from the general public will definitely aid and lead the police to raise the case with speed. We as government are committed to ensuring that the due process of the law is followed and that Honorable Banda receives all necessary medical care and legal rights during his detention. I thank you for your attention and understanding as we continue to monitor and address this situation with the seriousness it deserves. As Acting Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, I wish to provide an update regarding the situation at Chipata Football Grounds in Mandevu constituency, where the opposition New Heritage Party had been advised due to security concerns not to hold a political rally today, 1st of June 2024. Despite the advice, however, from the law enforcement uh, officers, 
the new heritage party attempted to go ahead with their planned event to uphold the rule of law and maintain public order police personnel were deployed to the area this very morning at approximately 11 hours an individual approached the football grounds to observe the situation this individual was confronted by one of our uniformed officers leading to a misunderstanding subsequently other under other under the false impression that their colleague has been arrested began to march towards the football grounds the police intervened promptly advising these individuals to return within chipata compound i am pleased to report that there have been no serious incidents related to this matter thus far the zambia police service fully supports the democratic rights of all politicians of political parties and citizens to assemble and express their views however these rights must be exercised within the bounds of the law any activities that potentially endanger public safety or disruption to a society harmony will face necessary regulatory action zambia police service remains committed to ensuring public safety and upholding the law we continue to monitor the situation closely and are prepared to take necessary action to prevent any escalation we appeal to all political parties and their supporters to respect the law and follow proper procedures for organizing public gatherings cooperation with law enforcement authorities is crucial in maintaining peace and order within our communities i take this opportunity countrymen and women to thank you for your attention this is dj mutat exclusive all right that's all for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go